Rob, in the world we live in today, we always hate hearing about, you know, rich people scamming the not rich to make more money. And so <laughs> one of the big crimes, you know, that, that gets a lot of attention in the media when it happens is the insider trading. Insider trading. Right. Didn't uh, didn't what's her name go to jail for that? Um, the 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 home making uh, guru, best friend Martha, Snoop- Mar- Martha Stewart. That's right, Martha Stewart. You know, uh, Snoop Dogg's best friend. They are act. They are actually like bros off screen. They they are actually like I, I was watching interviews with them. They actually talk all the time. They're like besties, but whatever. Okay, that's great. So I mean, we love hearing about this stuff. Happens all the time. So. A piece of news came out on CNN that was talking about a bunch of AMC insiders, including several key executives, just recently sold uh, a whole ton of their AMC stock, their own stock, to the tune of raising for themselves personally $8 million, $8 million. Now, I'm going to see if I can get the specific people here. Um Here we go. So this is where it comes to us. It says, the filings show that Carla, I don't know Carla's last name, uh, Chavaria, AMC's chief human resources officer, sold 40,346 shares last week and raked in personally $2.5 million. Uh, And she still holds more than 44,000 AMC shares, the filing indicated. The other three AMC executives who sold their shares last week were John McDonald, the executive vice president of U.S. operations, Daniel Ellis, senior vice president of development and international, and Elizabeth Frank, the chief content officer. So they collectively sold a bunch of stock for $8 million. And instantly and understandably, Rob, a lot of the questions become, is this another case of you know, insiders in a company having knowledge of what's going to be happening, leveraging that knowledge to take advantage of the market and screw over other people and making a a fortune. And honestly, to me, it it doesn't look like that at all. It honestly, and because you guys know, I've had some, I've had some pretty pissy things to say about AMC recently, particularly, you know, their joke of a CEO, but in all honesty, there's uh, there's actually nothing wrong with this situation. I, I've seen some people saying, oh, this is sketchy, this is sketchy. But the reality is this. They just have these stocks because here's the thing. When you take a big position at a significant company, often one of the things that is included in your compensation package is stock. You get stock. When Anne went to work with uh, Amazon, Rob, when Anne went over to work with Amazon, one of the reasons she accepted the job was because included in the, you know, the salary and the benefits was also a certain amount of AM or of uh, Amazon stock. When she went to Apple, one of the things that enticed her over to Apple, Anne being my wife, by the way, was that they included Apple stock. So I'm sure a lot of these guys over at AMC, they got a bunch of stock too. But guess what? That stock is now theirs to sell or or keep as they choose. And when you get that stock, Rob, and that stock is probably like $8 when you get it, and then f- through some fluke, because it's not going to stay that high, through some fluke, it hits like $65, and you know it's going to come down probably to $15 to $10. That's probably where it's going to even out. Uh, that's a good value for it. Why wouldn't you sell it? So honestly, I look at this situation, Rob, I don't see anything sketchy going on. These are just share owners. They saw that the value of the shares was infinitely higher than what it was when they got them. They had an opportunity to sell their shares and reap the profits from it because the stock will probably never be that high again. As a matter of fact, the stock is already about $13 lower than it was when they sold it a few days ago. So, hey, listen, I'm ready to jump all over AMC for stupid, idiotic things they do over there. But quite frankly, there's nothing wrong with this situation here. And I think it's perfectly fine. Rob, you've had a chance to look at the situation. What do you make of it? I'm I'm with you. I mean, look, whether this is a meme bolstered stock or whatever, the fact is it was happening. It was legal. Uh, Everyone in Wall Street uh, is up in arms about these kinds of things because they've never had sort of... (laughs) everyday people come in and manipulate the markets fully out in the open in the way that these meme stocks have been bolstered by social media. This is something new. And I say, hey, if you uh, get out while the getting's good, more power to you. 
That's what everyone... I mean, the way stock manipulation has gone on for so very long, to have a new player, meaning us, the everyday person, to come in and, and be able to benefit from bolstering stock like this, why not? I think I think it's a fine thing. And you know what? If w Wall Street is... Uh, they have to Like every other industry, you have to deal with disruption from social media. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> All right. The question is for you guys. You now hear about this, about a couple of uh, AMC executives getting rich off selling their stock. I think it seems to be completely above board to me. To be honest, they saw an opportunity. They took advantage of it. I don't think they broke any rules. How do you guys feel about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.